Hello there everybody, Mbix here with another haul. I did say I would meet with my kind of private seller on Wednesday. Now it is Thursday when I'm filming this, excuse me. Uh, so yeah, here's the haul and I decided I'd show it to you first. So moving this figure plate out of the way, which I love. Um, my private seller does not sell to everyone, only me because, um, uh, you know, we're friends and stuff like that. And um, yeah, he has um, a lot of pieces. Um, uh, the main reason for this was because I did want to get pieces for my mid-scale Millennium Falcon. Though, sadly, I did not get that many. But, you know, um, I got a lot of these colored pieces because, you know, I, I was running out of just classic regular building bricks, which are always useful. And then I got some other ones that I thought looked cool. And he gave me a great deal, probably like five bucks for all those pieces. And then uh, the figures are like 25 cents to a dollar. But... Let's get into it. Okay, so that was the time loss where I've kind of sorted my pieces. Let's go through them real quickly. Blue bricks, red bricks, um, a lot of plates. Some teal in there, some of these nice useful panels, some more of that baby blue as I call it, a Legoland exclusive bricks, some bricks with studs at the sides, some spring colors. Um, okay, and then here's more of my Millennium Falcon side minus that. You know, I got the plates, the wing, um, more. Uh, huh, these plates are actually supposed to go here. That's going to help with my engine section. And then some standard bricks and some of these sliding bricks, a spring loaded tutor. And then some of these kind of round books. And if you're wondering why I used um, the spoon during the video, well, I did a separate video on that, a tips, a tips and tricks video on the spoon in case you were uh, interested. And I just dropped the spoon. But anyway, uh, I still got a lot more pieces. So um, don't worry, I'm not going to put it back in time lapse. Now. I'm just going to jump these out ever so gently. Okay, so um, let's get into these real quickly. Uh, just um, Yeah, I got a Technic Ball. That's pretty useful. Some of these pieces with studs and tiles on the undersides. Oh, these are nice from the uh, Guardian's um, Orange Ship. Some of these glass pieces, um, canopies. I got two of these. So remember I stole like um, this from the this exact piece, except not in red, from the Quinjet or shield chip that I made the mock to put on my Millennium Falcon. Yeah, well, I could, he didn't have the one in that uh, dark gray tint or black tint, so I settled for red and it will just be a stand in for my um, Quinjet mock. Don't worry, I'll give the better uh, one to the kind of um, to my Millennium Falcon mock. I'm getting tongue twisted little zane print um black bolt that's good two of those black spring loaded bolt oh some bigger weapons uh some infinity stones a lot of gray bricks again some useful ones some prints on windows power blasts uh technic and yeah, just a lot of useful stuff overall. So yeah, a pretty good piece haul, you know, definitely. But um, let's move on to the figures. I'm not even going to bother cleaning that up now. I'll do it after the camera leaves, though I did want to show the figures in this video. And they're really just the stars. So up front, I have um, extras. So, well, this guy's new for me anyway. He's from City. I gotta check if he's official or not, or not, or else I'll take him apart for his parts. And then I got another old Luke. I already have one, so this is a duplicate. A duplicate Bruce Banner. A duplicate Black Widow. A duplicate Captain America. And a duplicate um, kind of Proxima Midnight. But now these are my one-of-a-kind figures, like my new ones. Okay, let's get this straight. The Outrider is not a new one, though, you know, I need him for my Black Order stand which go check the MCU stands, minifigure stands video. And then I got a Gamora, that's so great. Now all I need is Drax, and then I'll be done um, with the Guardians of the Galaxy, and she looks great. 
um, a Sakarian guard. He was pretty cool to get. The Grandmaster. Yeah, a lot of ones from Thor Ragnarok right here. The Valkyrie, and I didn't have her previously. Because the Thor Ragnarok sets uh, honestly weren't that good. You know, the builds are good, but they were priced terribly. But now we got the figures, which were a big draw. Loki, and Surveillor Alert, Rip Loki. Mm -hmm, sad. And then I got two versions of Thor. The one from the arena with some print. And then the one from the Battle on Asgard. I don't know which one I like better. This one's pretty cool because... Uh, he uses that newer cape. I, I think it only came in this figure. Nah, I, I think it might have came in another. But then I got the Infinity Gauntlet. So I'm going to load that up with all the stones very soon. And then Hela herself. And she was such a fantastic MCU villain. I got two of her goons down there. But then, oh my god, this helmet mold. So amazing. So great. So yeah, I loved getting all these figures right here. Including Hela, but... I really want to load up the Infinity Gauntlet. It came with the two stones, and I need to load in the other ones, which I have. Oh my god. This has been my dream ever since I've seen the sets, you know? The initial set pictures, or even the leaks. Like, look at this. It's the complete Infinity Gauntlet. Infinity War is probably my favorite movie of all time, and this, this just looks so great. Lego, Lego did a great job, but now... All I need is Thanos to wear it, you know? I don't even have Thanos, but... Oh my god. Wow. I'm just giving it a couple of spins to, to take in the glory. The majesty. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so that is it for this video. And I hope you liked it. And if you did, please subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And I guess, hello, likes Infinity Gauntlet now. Bye.